this video, I'm just gonna acknowledge the elephant in the room and say that I think this t-shirt might be see-through. So um, if it is, and if you can see anything on display, please just don't look. Um, and if you notice that I'm sort of a bit like this in the video, it is because I think this top see-through, um, as professional as ever from this page. <laughs> anyway, today I wanna to talk about my story, how I got in the gym and why I am so passionate about all things strength and weightlifting related. So let me take you back to when I was a teenager. I was at school, obviously, and um, I was a little bit lonely. Like, I did have friends, but I didn't really have a friendship group. I don't want to make it sound worse than it is. I wasn't, like, horrendously bullied or anything. But, yeah, didn't really have much going for me. I'm very, very average, or even below average, academically. Um, socially, I'm not the best when it comes to, uh, like, group settings. And I was just pretty much forgotten about, I would say. The sort of, yeah, the person in the year that I'm not sure anyone would really remember, if I'm brutally honest. Um, so I didn't really have much. I was very shy. Um, I was obviously confident with the friends I did have, but I wasn't very outgoing and it wasn't the best time. I'm not gonna pretend it was awful. You know, people have much worse teenage stories than that, but it was all pretty average if I'm brutally honest. And I think a lot of people are sort of in that boat where it's like, you know, it wasn't bullied. It wasn't like traumatized or anything, but it definitely wasn't a great time in my life. So I was quite lonely um, until I found Ed. Now, Ed is still my best friend to this day, and he's been on the page before, and we become friends. He came to the school and we piled up. And then one day he came around my house, as friends do, and uh, we had a gym in the garden, which is where this story is also a little bit odd. Obviously, my parents, definitely Mark Wren, they um, have a gym in the garden, so in we went, and Ed and I deadlifted, and I actually deadlifted 120 kilos that day, the first time I tried it, which is pretty strong. Um, it was pretty good, but I didn't know because I was only comparing myself to Ed, who's obviously a man, and he had been training for a while at that point, so I thought it was pretty average, but it, I know no, it wasn't, that is pretty good. <laughs> anyway, uh, fast forward a few weeks, I entered us both into a deadlift competition at King's Gym in Croydon, the original King's Gym, and uh, we went down there. I remember it was the 11th of April, so it was three days before my 17th birthday, I think it was, and so we were really young, obviously we couldn't drive at the time, so I asked my mum if she'd drive us down there. Now, um, if you know my mum, and not the celebrity trainer version of my mum, or not the district councillor version of my mum, but my real mum, um, the actual Jackie Wren, she is a Croydon girl, a proper Croydon girl. So luckily she was willing to take me to probably um, Croydon's most hardcore gym, thankfully. Uh, very lucky that mum was willing to do this. And thankfully mum wasn't scared because the original King's Gym was a proper gym. It was all painted black, it was full of bodybuilders, and it was amazing. And, I remember walking in there and I lost my breath. It, I was speechless. That gym was just sensational. And anyone went, that went to the original King's Gym site would tell you that there was something about that gym that was just, it was amazing. And anyway, I walked in and people shouting, people swearing, people proper training hard. And it was amazing. I was actually speechless. I was looking around at um, all the muscly men, and all the muscly women. I was thinking like, oh, this, this is my world. I just loved it. I remember looking at some of the guys in there and it was just amazing like looking at these people I literally my draw, draw, jaw was dropped I was like oh, it was just amazing anyway I actually won that competition that day and um, that was the day my whole life changed uh, I owe a lot to that gym and also the people in there because uh yeah everything changed for me that day it's actually quite emotional because it was just the best day ever um won the competition and suddenly people recognized me um, I was no longer like that person in the background. People were asking me about where I trained and how long I've been training for. People were amazed that I was like 16. Um, also, I was saying, well, I was training in the garden. <laughs> um, it was amazing. That day was life changing and winning that competition gave me a, a real lot of confidence. Anyway, so then we were in sixth form at the time and finally Ed passed his driving test and we didn't go to school much, but we were at that gym a lot and that gym shaped my life and I'm so grateful for it. Um, any lessons missed to go to King's, I do not regret. It was absolutely amazing there. And I made so many friends and met the community. And that's when I become a powerlifter. Um, when I was in there, it was absolutely amazing. A guy called um, Andy, he prepped me for my first powerlifter competition. Um, along with Ed, Ed and Andy prepped me, did powerlifter competition. I came second in the South East, which was quite good. Um, Ed was there with me, he'll remember that day. Um, it was absolutely amazing. And then uh, I did a few more competitions at King's. It was just such a good time in my life. And then, I found the bodybuilding, uh, I found the bodybuilding women who are still my absolute idols. The same people I looked up to then, I still do now, and found my place in bodybuilding, did my first competitions, and yeah, it was absolutely amazing. And anyway, during, um, after my first season, just after I finished my first bodybuilding preps, uh, I found my gym where I'm at now, which is Muscle Works Orpington, and I went down there. I was actually on a date with somebody, but yeah, they took me to the gym, and we went down to Orpington, and when I was in there, the man behind the desk, who's Tom, who might be watching this, he actually offered me a job. He said, uh, 
oh do you want to come and work here and I just qualified as a personal trainer and I took the job there and then again my whole life leveled up it was like going into Kings but even better everything I love that place I worked behind the desk there met loads of people really gained a lot of confidence and um, there's amazing trainers down at my sports Alperton, so I learned a lot from watching the fantastic trainers train and um, seeing so many amazing athletes there um, actually Luke Sando who has passed away sadly now but he was a bodybuilder um, and we're lucky enough to work at his gym so I saw him training a lot which is just sensational and I just love it still to this day um, um, yeah started there still train there now and it's actually amazing still prepping for shows and yeah hopefully we're all just starting and then obviously I left Russ Works Alpington as my business grew and then got this gym that I'm sitting at now in October last year and there's some, hopefully some big things coming some more things in the pipeline but yeah that's my story up until now if you want to hear any more about me specifically or any more of my story let me know what you want to hear and give me some specifics and I'll do some more of these story times but yeah that's how I got to the gym and that is why I am so passionate about sharing training with as many people as possible because it is undoubtedly life-changing and it will change your life um it's amazing so just want to share it to everybody in the world that this gym, the, the gym world will change your life totally. Yeah. Thanks for listening.